All right, guys. Welcome to More Than Fishing. Oh my goodness. For today's goal, we are, number one is just to catch a salmon. Number two, we're gonna try for my first keeper link cod. This is actually my fourth time going out on a kayak. I really, I really, really wanna catch my, my salmon on a kayak because this one YouTuber keeps telling me that June, that catch with Jason, the two salmon that you caught, that, that was a fluke. That doesn't count because he said I didn't net it. Okay, I give him that. No, I give him that. Because I was really scared of netting the fish because I might, because that was my first experience in uh, hooking up a salmon. So I let Jason net the fish. Today, that is our goal. I got my net right here. There's no Jason today. There's no Jason. No one will help me to net it. I'm just going to do it by myself, man. Well, yeah, hopefully we catch one today. And uh, also special thanks to uh, Danny Wu for lending his kayak to me. Man, I appreciate it. Show you guys my setup for today. It's funny because I'm using my my budget reel right here, guys. This is the Shakespeare Alpha right here. I bought this at Walmart for $17 and I paired up with the Shimano Shigaro. This is a $25 from Big Five. This is 20 pound monoline right here. And uh, I got, yeah, this is the Deep Six, number one. All right, the way this thing works is, you see this ball right here. You gotta have to attach that or clip that right here to hold that diver to go down and this probably will have a 45 angle down the bottom from there I got this leader right here and it's at the end of that is your hook and your lure this is the watermelon apex and your hook has to be barbless so what I did to this hook is I crimped it so it will be smooth we are actually going blind right now I don't have the fish finder I fished this area for yeah four times already so I kind of know where to fish so we're gonna do a each pull is a foot so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just go for ten then right when we get out from this harbor we're gonna go deeper maybe 35 feet we'll be constantly pedaling guys this is gonna be a tiring day but Let's go, man. Let's go. This one is already deep, so I'm gonna go uh, maybe 10 more feet. So we go down by 20. Right there. There's a lot of bait here, guys. Hopefully, the salmon is just over here. See, look, birds is just diving right in front of me, guys. It would be nice if we hook up right away. Right here. I'm assuming this area right here, there's a big ball of bait right here. Looking great. Looking great. Nice weather. The water is calm. That's the only options that I got here, guys. I only got the Apex, the watermelon Apex. So hopefully that one will work. So much birds over there, guys. That's where we're going. And then we're gonna circle around, go into the other buoy, the red can. Woo, let's go! Let's go, fishy! Right, let me check my lure. Because sometimes there's a, like a fish, get stuck there or grass or anything so before we get to that red can I make sure that my bait here or my lure is there's nothing on it yep we're good let's go Red can, guys. We are here. I'm gonna have to take off my jacket, guys. This is super hot. Okay, that's better. That's way better. All right, I can breathe now. Anytime soon now, guys. Anytime now, we're gonna get a bite. We are here now, guys. We are here where Matt and I went and hooked up a salmon last time so 
so hopefully there's still fish here. Oh god, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Okay, all right, all right, keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Got a fish here? Yeah, I got a fish here. Oh shoot. Oh, there's a fish here guys. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. The salmon. I see the salmon. Right there. Oh. Good. Oh no, that's not a salmon. Oh shoot. Oh, this is the big, big black rock right here guys. Oh. Alright, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that fish. Oh shoot, I thought that was a uh, salmon. Not skunk anymore. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Alright, I'll go for thirty-two. So much bird action here, guys. All kayakers are going towards this area over here. My chinelas. I dropped my chinelas. Oh shoot! Got it. Right there guys. That's so much birds. I gotta go there. So much action here. We're not gonna go straight towards the where the baits are. We're gonna go around it. We're gonna circle around it. One hour later. My calves is hurting right now. Ah oh, cramping. Let's take a rest. Let's do a five minute rest. And drink some water and eat some food. I'm hungry too. Let's eat first, guys. I got some Vienna sausage here. I pedal for two hours nonstop, guys. This is my first rest. I haven't heard anyone caught a fish yet. On the kayak though, but I heard one, one boat caught a fish by the red guy. That was a good meal. Now, let's get back in action. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna head back where I caught that black rock fish. And uh, we're gonna stop there. And maybe we can fish for a link cod. My legs is getting tired right now. And uh, we're gonna take a, oops. Fish on, fish on, fish on, we got fish, fish on, fish on, fish on, yep, oh this is salmon right here guys, this is salmon, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, I hope this is a salmon guys, oh shoot, let's do that again, man, oh I didn't set the hook, my legs are hurting right now, alright let me take a rest man, my legs is hurting. Uh, we go for rockfish. This is where I caught the. Um, ow, ow, my legs. This is where I caught the blackfish. So we're gonna set up. Oh, my legs hurts. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cramping. All right. Let's change this up to link cod setup. We're gonna use this right here. I don't have a salmon on boards. We can use a hook that has a barb hopefully we can get a link out bite man my legs are cramping right now catch it over this side Sun is coming up, that's a good sign. We need sun. All right, nothing. You know what? We're gonna get switch back to salmon, guys. I can't focus. <laughs> sun that just showed up, so it's a good thing. Let's do it. All right, let's go, guys. 
do this. Green can, guys. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, keep traveling, guys. Oh, holy shoot. Oh, this is big, guys. This is big. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh shoot. Let's go. Let's go. Fish on, fish on. Oh shoot, holy hard. This is salmon guys. Definitely salmon. Oh, gosh, oh shoot, this is big. Oh shoot. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> shoot. Oh, shoot. Let's go. This is big guys. This is big. It's big. I'm tired. I'm tired a little bit. Alright. Alright there. Alright. Gotta do this. First time netting guys. First time netting. Oh shoot. Front of me. She's right in front of me. Keep pedaling. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shoot. 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 Don't lose it, dude. Don't lose it. Oh no, it's in front of me. Oh shoot. What the heck? Why is she going in there? Oh no. Oh, this is hot. This is bad, guys. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. To the right. I'm gonna bring you to the left side. Oh shoot! He got caught! He got caught! He got caught! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! He's right here, guys. I'm gonna net him right here to my right side. I got him! I got him! I got him! Oh my gosh! Oh! oh. Yeah! Yeah, baby. Ah, I got him. Woohoo! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Ah, yeah, baby. Ah, that was a battle. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, oh. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's definitely a keeper right there, guys. Oh, that's definitely a keeper. Let me secure this guy. Oh, he has black gum. Yeah, it's a black gum. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Hey, what's up, Matt? Where are you? you? Got one, huh? I got one. Red can. Yes, I, I, red can. I can tell by the excitement in your voice. Cool. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Where are you? I just got out here. I'm trolling through the red can right now. Dude. I, yes, the keeper is like 28 inches. Look at this guys. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's get our limit. Let's get back there. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. I thought I'm not gonna land that fish. Man, it was, the fish is just too nice to me. I, I messed up so many times. Oh my gosh. A few minutes later. Guys. Oh, my leg is really bad right now. And it really, really hurts, guys. Both legs, both quads right here. I need to bend it so I can get the muscles moving. Ah, shoot, it's so stiff. I can't. It's really painful, guys. Oh. 
my quads is stiff right now and it's, it hurts so bad. Oh, well, Matt's is coming anyway, so maybe he can help me out. I need to bend it so I can get that muscles. Oh, there you go. Woo! Oh, that, that feels better. I need to force it. I need to force to bend it. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Ah. Oh, that's better. Oh, yes. Oh, I just needed that bend. Oh, there you go. That feels better. I'm gonna stretch first. I can't move, man. My legs are cramping. Right after I caught that fish, I couldn't move anymore. Yeah, huh? I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm just taking a rest. I guess I'm gonna call it a day. And uh, we already got one fish right here, guys. This is good enough for me. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> nice fish right here, guys. Got two fish actually. One rock, a uh, black fish, and one uh, good size salmon right here guys look at that <laughs> let's go i'm gonna call matt to tell him that i am done for today i don't know where he is probably he's back there on the dock right now because he doesn't have his patch so he's getting dizzy oh shoot what's up man wake up <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! You okay? Yeah. Three days later. All right, guys. I'm home right now. I'm here now with my daughter. Her name is Pearl. She actually always in my catch and cook video. The beach. Remember the beach? We went to the beach. <coughs> And then we cooked the perch. Remember that? Did you were there? <laughs> I caught a salmon and a black rock fish. So the salmon I already filleted. I already vacuum sealed it. And also the rock fish right here, black rock fish. We're just gonna clean it up. There's still scale on it, so we're gonna scale it today. And for today's catch and cook, I'm gonna prepare two Filipino dishes for the salmon. We're gonna cook it in again. And for the rockfish, we're gonna just simply fry it with salt and pepper. We're gonna pair it with something. We're gonna make something to pair that up with. And before that, of course, as a Filipino, I'm gonna start up with rice. I like washing my rice or rinsing it for a three times rinse. Those white water right there, those are starch. So we gotta have to take that out. So our rice would not be that super sticky. The second wash, we're gonna need the second wash. It, yep, just leave it there. And then third wash. Okay. Okay guys, this is how I measure the amount of water that I put on my rice when I cook rice. So first I measure the height of the rice. So I put a marker on my, my thumb, that's the height. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure it again. I'm gonna dip my finger and then that's going to be the height of the water. My finger's on top of the rice. So I'm gonna add more. There. Now we can put this in the rice cooker. And while we're waiting for the rice to cook, we're gonna, cook yes, we can cook the fish. All right, there you go. That rice will be done in 15 minutes. So let's get back here. Before we start with the, with the cooking, let me show you guys first the ingredients. Just for the city gang, it's basically just bok choy, tomato, onions, tamarind soup, soup and of course the fish so that's it very simple while we're waiting for this water to heat up i'm gonna clean up the rock fish 
when I scale it, I keep the water running so the scale will not just fly out. Because if I turn that water off, when I scale it, it's just gonna fly. See? So I'm gonna keep that water on. Alright, that's it. Alright, guys, it's already boiling, so we're just gonna simply add that tomato and onions there. We're gonna we can start adding the tamarind soup. Let's get back to our sinigang. Let's see this. Okay, that's good. It's it's already cooked. Look, you can tell that because those tomatoes and the the onions are already soft. You can see that when I press it, it's already it's soggy. So that's what we need. The flavor of that tomato and onion will go to the soup. Now this time we're gonna add we're gonna add now our sandy and last. We're gonna add our bok choy. Let's go, let's just wait. Let's just wait for about 10 minutes for this to cook. And we are done with the city gun. All right, that's it. It's done. It's done. Ready to eat. Uh, we're just gonna put this on the side and we're gonna start cooking the- The second one. The second one. The, rock fish so we're gonna use this pan right here i like using a deep pan so i, I don't like wasting a lot of oil because we if you use a big pan like this you gotta have to put a lot of oil with this just need a few and then you're good and for the rock fish we're just gonna simply put salt that's it that's not that much and a pepper Black pepper. Yeah, yeah. I like doing this. So it's all spread out. <laughs> Put uh, canola oil. So what I like about my fish when I cook it, I like it crunchy, a little bit crunchy on the top, on the side. So in order for us to get that texture on the fish, we gotta have to have our heat in a medium setting. If our oil is super hot, we're just gonna burn the top and the inside is not cooked. I think it's ready. So we're just gonna put that there. Just like that. So guys, while we're waiting for this fish to cook, I'm gonna prepare the side dish. We pair up with this, okay? So guys, while we're waiting for this fish to cook, what we're gonna do now, I got this okra right here. I like this on the side dish too. So what we're gonna do with this, I'm gonna wash it first and I'm gonna put that in the rice cooker. Cause the rice is already cooked. So I'm gonna put this on top of that to cook it. So we're just gonna basically steam the okra, okay? So we're just gonna put this on top. Look at that. Oh no, it's full. But does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? That's like that. Close it. Ha! There you go. And let's get back to this frying right here. Oh my god. Oh, I think this is already done. Good. It's not that pretty because this is a rockfish. It breaks apart easily. So, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm just going to put a little decorations right here. Put that on top of that. Here. Right here. Yep. Hey. That's it. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> uh, we're done. That's it. Simple. It took us probably like 20 minutes to prepare everything. So this is ready. This is ready. We got all part right here. Look. <laughs> so we're just going to grab this. Put that here. 
<laughs> Look at that. Yes. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's good. Right, now I'll need the salmon. You don't like the skin, right? Let me take out the skin. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's eat. Oh. Oh, you know what? I forgot. You know what's good for okra? Alamang. Right here, guys. This is what I'm saying. Alamang. Sauteed. Uh, Sauteed. Sauteed. Sauteed? Sauteed. I don't know. This is a shrimp paste. Alamang. <laughs> oh. There. What I do? Grab a piece. That much. I'm gonna eat it. Oh my god. That was really good. Do you like it, Pearl? Yeah? Really? I like it. <laughs> so that's, that's actually just all I want for my family to enjoy the food that I cook or I prepare. That's all. That's the reward. You know, those four hours or five hours fishing, it, it's worth it when you see your family eating the fish that you caught. If you guys like this video, go hit that like button. Thank you for watching, guys. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. It's not just fishing. It's more than fishing.